Hey guys, what's up? Um, just kind of an update here on uh, what I'm doing. I have a new driver board. Tried the other one out, and it failed miserably. Um, not sure exactly what happened. Um, the bridge blew, and I think that um, blew the gate drivers, which ended up ruining the 12 volt regulators. So um, I got a new one here with gold plated ICs, low dropout regulators, 3 watt zeners on the zener clamping network there, 0.1 microfarad decoupling capacitors. I can't remember what all I had on the old one, but uh, yeah, you can see the 0.1 microfarad decoupling caps on the UCCs there. Um, 100 microfarad tantalum caps on there and then I've even got some surface mount decoupling caps on the bottom power rails for the 12 volt and uh, 5 volt rails these are actually designed for decoupling um, so hopefully they do what they're supposed to uh, new power supply for the for the thing it's a 15 volt 1.4 amp power supply I uh, paid like 30 bucks for it, and um, I like it. Looks very nicely built. I haven't actually tried it yet because I don't have any board to mount it on and actually build the supply itself yet, but yeah. Uh, new MOSFETs and stuff. These are 100, or uh, these are 200 volt 88 amp MOSFETs. They have, uh, or they have, yeah, they have an on resistance of. 11 milliohms and rise and fall times of 96 nanoseconds in total. Um, that includes the rise, the the turn on delay, the rise time, the turn off time, and the turn off delay. So, or the fall time and the turn off delay. Um, new heat sinks. I'm pretty sure these are what I'm going to use, but uh, not. Not entirely 100% sure. I bought these; they were like a buck ninety-nines or something like that a piece. So I bought two of those. Um, they come with these stupid little clips here that I'm not really a fan of. They have a 10 degrees Celsius per watt rating on them, so they're not really the best. Um, but you know, they're kind of small too, I guess. So um, haven't quite decided what I want to do just yet with those because I need to, I'm trying to get the whole profile a little bit smaller on the bridge for the diodes I bought two little heat sinks um, just kinda something to put on there for a little extra protection don't really know if I need it or not but more of a peace of mind thing so those actually have a pretty high rating I think of like 27 degrees Celsius per watt or something like that so but these things are also rated to like 150 or 175 degrees, so that's quite all right. Um, I also got a new heat sink on the reg on the 12 volt regulator there too. So, but I'm not sure if I'll even need it, considering it's a 0.37 volt or 0.35 volt dropout regulator. This is a 0.16 volt dropout regulator. So, yeah. Um, Kind of, I have these heat sinks here too, which are just a solid block of aluminum, which would work okay, I guess. Um, the only problem is, is being a solid block of aluminum, you can't really cool them down once they get warm. So, I don't know. I guess experimentation is called for. So, I also have sitting here. I got two new caps for the bridge. As you can see, I've got. 12 ohm 2 watt resistors. I got some heat. I bought two uh, insulating pads because I didn't know how I want to put the heat sinks just yet. And then I've also got the 15 volt uh, 3 watt centers in this bag. Uh, new top load. Made a new top load. This one, it, it turned out alright. Um, a lot better than the other one, that's for sure. I took the razor blade and I ran it along. I scored the edge of the can that is on the outside. And then I took my pliers and I slowly ripped it off so I get a nice clean edge the whole way around. So I'll sand that up a little bit, make it look all nice and pretty. And hopefully it, uh, hopefully it turns out really nicely. I also got the holes about as centered as one can possibly get really it only wobbles probably a millimeter or so 
Um, so it's not really all that far off. It's not e not even a full millimeter off. It's probably like a half or a third or something. So, uh, yeah. I got parts for the driver board coming yet. I've got all the connectors, all the uh, Molex connectors coming. I got all shrouded two pin. The feedback transformer is going to be mounted all right here on the board because um, I got some high voltage wire to go through it for the one turn feedback which this will go through be zip tied to the top in a loop and then probably epoxied in place or something so it doesn't move after I figure out uh, after I get the actual thing working correctly so yeah just for some size comparisons here, here's the old heat sink. Push this stuff aside quick. Here's the old heat sink that I was using on the bridge. Just an old CPU heat sink. And these are the new heat sinks that I'm proposing to use. So you can definitely see how much smaller the bridge would be. Because um, I ran a flyback with this thing for quite some time and then it, I didn't even notice it heat up at all. So. I might not need a heat sink that big, because if they heat up a little bit, I mean, that's not really a problem. Um, it is going to be interrupted, so it's not like it's going to be running continuous wave or anything. Uh, this might end up being the primary form, I'm not entirely sure yet. This is like a, I don't know, some kind of, it was a, it was a full, like, foot-long pipe, um, some sort of connector for something, I don't remember. Um, but it's got 40 millimeter outer diameter, and then it's got this little lip on here, which would be good for sanding down a little bit, making it smooth, and then I could mount that right on the acrylic base. Um, so, because if we take the pipe that's going to be for the secondary, and we stick it right in there, you can see it's got a pretty decent fit, um, which is a whole lot better than the pipe I was going to end up using, which was like one and a half inch or something around there which is just ridiculous um... yeah right here you can see just how much of a, a tighter fit that is um... can't really hold on a second let me tilt this up a little bit so you can so you can see that it's quite a difference with that compared to that and it's not as thick a material either you can see that it's I don't know how well you'll be able to see that but it's that much smaller so I don't wait that much smaller yeah so that I'll probably end up using this if I don't find anything better um, I don't know I still gotta go to the hardware store because I think inch and a, I think this is inch and a half if it is, then inch and a quarter would actually work, and I'll probably get that. So, um, yeah, that's really about it. If you guys have any questions, um, the parts, by the way, will be here hopefully either tomorrow. For the parts from Tayday, will be here either hopefully tomorrow. If not, then I'll get both packages on Tuesday. So, because I ordered the ones from DigiKey on Friday at like 9 o'clock or something like that. So, they'll be here for, on Tuesday. They'll ship tomorrow and they'll be here Tuesday. And then today will either be here tomorrow or Tuesday too. So, alright. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, actually, here, let's do one more size comparison thing here. Um, here's a dime. If you don't live in the U.S. and you're watching us, I'm sorry, but here's a here's a U.S. dime, and here is one of the decoupling capacitors that I used on the board. So yeah, you can see my finger there, and then um, just in case you live outside the U.S., we'll use a typical TO220 package here. All right, here's a, I don't know, IRF740. It's TO220 package, and we'll set this right on top here like that. So yeah, you can see the size is just absolutely ridiculously tiny. Um, it's just crazy.
It was very, it was a pain in the ass to solder, but luckily I've got these fine point tweezers that make it rather actually easy. So, alright, anyways, peace out guys, and I'll see you in the next video.